Yeah, so we just, uh, you know, we had a thought that we had to start a podcast. But just, uh, Sorry for interrupting, just like everyone else, huh? Yeah. You have a headphone and a mic, you'll start a podcast. Yeah. And we just wanted to talk about some things. We are not sure, but we have something on our minds. But uh, I don't know how well this goes, but this is our first time. It's we always it's always someone's first time, huh? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> This always has to be a first time, otherwise there's no... Yeah, so I have a YouTube channel called K Persway. So I make uh, informative videos for international students who are coming from all over the country. I just guide them not to make the same mistakes which I did. You made a lot of them, huh? <laughs> not, not a lot of them. A, not only being an international student. <laughs> I didn't make a lot of mistakes, but I made some mistakes which had a huge impact. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> We know that. So, like, what do, what do you want to, wh what's the premise of this podcast, though? Like, what are we talking about to be to begin with? Will you continue, bro? I'm, I'm waiting. Oh. <laughs> yeah, so I'll, I'll just give an introduction to my video, too. <laughs> I, I, I love yeah. how, I love how I, I have to, like, uh, be like, oh, bro, what's the introduction, bro? Uh, yeah, he's coming in between. <laughs> what the fuck? <laughs> Hello, buddies. Uh, welcome back to my YouTube channel. So, I'm parallel recording the video from a YouTube channel and uh, uh, he's Ihit, so he's my roommate and he's, uh, you know, parallelly streaming for his Twitch. Hi guys, hi, 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 hi. Uh, you're not, you're not visible. Oh, I'm not visible. Oh, sorry, sorry. So, I have to, I have to jump in. So, we I'm had bad. this plan to start a podcast since long time, but uh, we were, you know, not that, what do you say, we weren't busy, we were busy. Oh, we were super busy. Yeah, we were super busy. We were super busy. Yeah. And uh, I know many people would comment. Recently, I was watching another video where, you know, they were like uh, people who have just a mic and uh, headphones, they start doing podcast. And that's true, I guess. Uh, because we, we have a lot of conversations when we travel, you know, we, we I go, uh, basically, I like to travel and... Oh, we uh, like to travel a lot. Oh, yeah. We like to travel a lot and we go on a lot of trips and we have a lot of conversations in that traveling. You know that part? Because look, seeing places with friends, that's, uh, apart from that, the traveling part is, you know, it's quite crazy. So we just thought that uh, we wanted to record all those conversations. Uh, why not, like, all the audience also participate? So uh, this yeah, because, was... Because we are, we are definitely not insecure about what we talk about, right? Yeah. <laughs> I am not sure about the topic, but I was just thinking we'll talk about existential crisis. My favorite. Yeah. And why? Why this topic? Let me just put up, pull, uh, pull up a shameless plug-in. Okay. So uh, if you guys ever want to join, uh, uh, watch me play games and uh, be stupid for the most part, uh, you can come on Twitch and uh, follow me at uh, the underscore underscore Baba Yaga underscore. Uh, I understand. This, Why do you uh, have three underscores? We call that circumstantial use of uh, resources. Mm -hmm. And the other thing is I couldn't get the main username. <laughs> <laughs> so yeah, he's uh, Baba Yaga. You, can, you guys can follow him on Twitch. Yes, please. Please come follow me on Twitch. I do need a little bit of Indian uh, audience. You know, my major viewers are from US, uh, Lithuania, Yesterday I was... Uh, and I need subscribers from US and people watching from US because, you know. Yeah, I know. <laughs> <laughs> um, I didn't monetize my channel, but if in future, if I monetize it, then I would be requiring viewers from US. Yeah. I mean, obviously, that's uh, incre increasing your user base is one thing. I mean, yeah, I'll so. obviously read this. <laughs> <laughs> Like shameless plugging, and I'm like, yeah. hey, uh, I, we, we need to make money. Yeah. So, guys, could you please just give us some money? <laughs> we are poor. So, coming back to the point, so we went on a trip, we came back, and I was just asking uh, Baba Yaga that uh, will it be the same every time? When we were younger, too, we would just go, go to a trip with our cousins during summer, and uh, after coming back, we feel that uh, feeling like where we you know miss them. Basically, mm. like we feel like, like, what's the point of, you know, again, we have to go to school, you have to go to work, you have to study, what's the point of it? Yeah, I, I would agree, like, the, the feeling of going back to your mundane life is mm. kind of, like, very... I mean, it's it's not sad, per se, but you do realize that, yeah, good things come to end kind of feeling, you know. 
like how you feel after like a, mm -hmm. if you watch like one of your favorite movies and it ended like you wanted it to go on for longer but deep down inside you know that it's not going to mm, so it's yeah. that helplessness of like you know we have to go back is kind of i think what i felt i i feel like it's like two uh, two sides of a coin like you do have to think about it like if there's a good thing or like if there's good times then there'll be going to be sad times kind of thing because once you've experienced the other one then only you can f find value in the first one kind of thing yeah what is that term in existential crisis like we are not able to explain it still like we have to I mean it. existential crisis i wouldn't hmm. say like see existential cri for me per uh, personally i feel existential crisis can have multiple meanings hmm. being honest and uh, like it, it it could be like your job related it could be your education related it could be it could be anything for that matter like mm -hmm. i i personally have gone through not ex exactly existential crisis but i would say like i've gone through like kind of a rough patch in my life mm -hmm. early on so like i i do feel that uh, i mean it could be termed as an exist existential crisis but i wouldn't like go ahead and be like ah oh, yeah i just uh, you know yeah. So like, you know that that's true because like we came to masters like you know for us from far mm -hmm. like from india so basically like everyone would have that because there'll be a lot of uh, friends they would be missing from india right yeah obviously so obviously like during the summer times you know they just come and pick you up you know you start playing cricket that that kind of stuff stuff we don't have here i mean yeah i mean the 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 part where we live in this city is kind of like a posh area obviously there has to be like a, some sort of a, you know that aspect like i mean if you go to the south side of the city where you used to live initially i would say there is interaction like i mean it's because there's the indian population is higher yeah so i mean people feel less lonely i would say just an fyi uh, we are, we are on our spring break and uh, it's minus 8 degrees and it's snowing outside on spring break yeah, yeah. uh that's uh, western new york for you guys so what do you think uh, about friends like how huge part they play in your life like after you know not when back when you are in a home country because that time you have parents or some other relatives to go back but when you are in another country and you came for masters i mean uh, considering considering that uh, it's kind of very uh, i mean uh, for me i have always put friends above any any relationship apart from family like you know because whenever you need anything to be done you go to your family but whenever you need emotional support it's mostly friends because of that generation gap thing between you and your parents and like it's it's i mean it's not a, it's not even something that i don't think so that parents can help also even though they can come to our level as well there yeah. always be more uh, compatibility with our friends than like the things i can share with you i don't think so i can share with my my mom and dad so that's yeah, a different yeah. That's we could aspect. share but the point is yeah uh, we could share and then we'll just uh, being a brown being a brown kid uh, we'll get beaten up like uh, like I mean, you know <laughs> like tenderizing meat you know that mm -hmm. mallet this fucking <laughs> when when is the last time you have seen me sleep at like 11 or 12 at night never you don't see me sleep at that time yeah because you sleep in morning <laughs> i i said to this this person that he could stream it You know, what on youtube on youtube yeah i mean youtube streaming is yeah but no okay yeah no. could, <laughs> but majority of the people you know subscribers of mine they would be it's sleeping like, by this time i mean yeah but there's, there's you have you have fans here bro how many times have i been stopped and how many times have you been stopped St what by St fans stopped stopped oh stopped oh me oh yeah, yeah go I, ahead go ahead me uh If 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 only you could see this guy. Is no, no, because no, no, even I didn't expect this because uh, you expected this. You no, no, the fuck no, up. no, no. I just expected that they they'll stop me and they'll tell, okay, okay, your capers way, okay, you do this video, so I recognized you. That's it. But uh, there was a guy called I won't name him, but yeah, yeah, I, he, I was about to say that. Please don't. Yeah, because he even asked a picture for me, like a picture of me. because Bro. i was in my you Stalker know syndrome i was in my part time uh, dress hmm. and i was just going uh, you know going to that bus stop to board the bus but he just stopped me he's like hey your capers were right you know i need a picture of yours yeah and he and harsha be like yeah take it yeah. Well, let me let, let, no i should like take it <laughs> take it just yeah, just go it. ahead because that was my first time yeah 
Yeah. <laughs> first time in the sense, uh, someone asking for. Yeah, I we understand. Yeah. yeah, that was your first time. It's always special. First time is always special. We know that. We know that very well. Yeah, so insecurities. So, what do you think if uh, there's always a group with which you feel insecure? Mm -hmm. even if you know them even if you're close even if they are your close friends and they they know a lot of uh, things and you don't know about that you feel kind of insecure it's 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 only that time or generally even you came to a new country so you start feeling insecure i uh, me personally i i process things a little bit differently hmm. you don't uh, believe in the concept of insecurity no i do I do mm. I do believe in the concept of insecurities and I, I do feel insecure among a lot of people mm. but uh, I think I am most insecure about people because like see for me insecurity is kind of a mm. kind of something that I like I would be insecure in front of a person I look up to mm. so like if there's some person in the field that I want to go to or this kind of thing so I'll be like insecure in talking to him so like I mean for me my insecurities are that my insecurities are that I don't want to come off as a, like a completely you know um <clears throat> sounding like a know it all who doesn't know shit kind of person yeah so like uh, that's the whole reason why I keep my mouth shut most of the times <laughs> yeah that's true that's true in my case also but but yeah as you told like if you give if you ask a fish to fly mm -hmm. so obviously fish is insecure about flying right What? <laughs> I, I know I know it's the worst uh, example or comparison but uh, if you ask a fish to fly I mean yeah Einstein said, like there's there's a quote now that Einstein never said I think it's like if you judge a fish on its ability to fly then the like yeah. then you'll always think that the fish is incapable of doing things yeah. that you want No I don't know what I'm talking uh, Yeah I I realized that part Yeah I was I was you know I just went into you know that uh, philosopher kind of mode and you forgot that we were talking about something yeah no yeah it so insecurities so what tell me about it <laughs> i don't <laughs> laugh no i love how this music is just playing in the background horror music no i mean mm -hmm. uh, insecure <laughs> don't laugh you are insecure about that then i'm laughing at your insecurities i mean okay. see that's that's the insecurities part you were mentioning right like mm. uh, like about some topic you have no idea what they're talking about yeah i i think i do feel the same way when it comes to like but but see i don't feel in the uh, like like you said right uh, and how i process differently is like if if that feel is related to me and i'm not aware about mm. that yes i will feel insecure because uh, that is my uh, that is my kind of a job to yeah. know what's happening and all and uh, that is why like uh, i keep on reading things mm -hmm. so, like to to stay up to date on what's happening and what's not happening because uh, personally the uh, aspect of uh, having uh, you know having this sort of uh, you know uh, like facing this to be honest like in this uh, in this aspect is like a, a little bit different and how how differently it can proceed because some people are like just generally insecure i mean and it's not it's not a bad thing be yeah because even like some of my friends uh, like i think you didn't work here but i worked in uh, dining on my campus mm -hmm. so in the first there were a lot of americans there and there were no indians and they were indians but they they had you know they were working there since a month since 6 months a semester so i was pretty new to those things like how to operate like i was working in a kind of starbucks cafe you can say that so i was pretty insecure like how do you you know how to operate these things how do i learn this like how do i talk to them so it's, it's basically an insecurity everyone would have i guess in the first day of part time but later on after some days i got used to that and you know the vibe which they gave it was very nice you know they taught me a lot of things and you know just that insecurity goes away like after some mm -hmm. days uh, and and i feel that in in that in that scenario i mean uh, that i have to give kudos to the americans because yeah. they have a more uh, you know what do you call it? like a healthy Wel nature welcoming behavior yeah they, ha they they are more welcoming and uh, i mean it, even even like as i have a friend in uh, my class as well you know right she so i mean one of the biggest problems that uh, we as uh, international students have is like we don't have a proper com like 
the you know transportation like you know i mean we were lucky enough to have one yeah. that we can like go and get groceries and stuff like most of them rely on campus yeah shuttles and everything for groceries but uh, you know uh, so basically what happened with him was she took him to like multiple stores in a day like spent like a cup three or four hours with him the whole day and he ended up buying and he ended up buying nothing in any store how how rude can that be to a person like she's putting in the effort to you know like uh you know to go with you and like to you know hmm. i mean i i i personally would like be offended because like i'm taking time out of my personal you know my personal leisure time and then you just waste it yeah i even i read a story about this recently like um, there was a dating app so in that uh, the girl uh, used to you know sw- match up with uh, many people and she would use them you know to just for grocery shopping oh i have read that one oh, only ju- that just one. for grocery shopping nothing else oh yeah she went on like what 10 dates in a week or so mm-hmm. and like uh, racked up like $2000 or $3000 in groceries hmm yeah it's like oh my god that was that was crazy okay yeah so i was reading a line uh, yesterday from a book i don't know what's the name because i was just focused on the line you were reading a book huh you were reading a book no i was just searching for a line to add in my podcast and mm-hmm. so from that i got a line it says what if having kids studying getting a job or traveling or you know buying some shoes or anything everything is a distraction from the ultimate goal of death i mean if if that's what you think life is then go ahead and mm-hmm. achieve it i'm not going to stop you yeah but the thing is like see uh, if if we uh, consider the par- aspect that earth has been there millions and millions of years before and it's probably going to be millions and millions of years after that and we come on to this planet for like what 70 80 years mm-hmm. on an average and then so like we as humans i mean as like personally individually we as humans do not impact a lot yeah like do not like do not i mean we expect us to be like oh my god we are the most uh, sentient life form on this planet oh my god we are so intelligent oh my god this mm-hmm. oh my god that but at the same you did time, something good in your previous uh, life so now you are born as a human. yeah i mean that's that's what our culture teaches like mm-hmm. you have to have good karma to be born as a human yeah but i mean what i feel personally is more like uh, i mean yeah all of that is good but i mean we we don't we don't have a lot of uh, impact on this planet like you know mm. who are we we are just a speck of dust in the fabric of time yeah even th- about this i was reading um we are not even a thread i would say like the fabric of time goes beyond our like comprehension even i was reading about this and uh, like there was a i don't know there was some kind of uh, pa- like story about this that uh, you basically live for some time right and you mm-hmm. do some good for some people like maybe 10 mm-hmm. or 15 people and those are the people who remember you but later on after you die mm-hmm. like they don't try to you know remember you know remember your death they try to forget your death so that it doesn't hurt them a lot so basically they try to forget your death and that's uh, just five people if you if you if you haven't done anything and it would be 15 or 20 if you have done something good in the society so basically literally they will also die after 10 to 20 years in that book it was like there's no point of you thinking about other people like what they're thinking about you that's basically insecurity yeah i mean yeah, i mean exactly yeah. like this the, is uh, the other thing is like what people don't understand is like hmm. you know like uh, they'll do things and be like oh my god what will that person think of yeah. oh my god what will this person hmm. i mean i mean i'm going to quote uh, quote a hindi uh, okay you know proverb that i heard hmm. uh, like and it actually kind of uh, you know like resonates with me a lot it's it's it goes like sabse bada rog kya kahenge log nice it's such a powerful like quote yeah. it it means like the biggest disease is what would people think about me yeah like that's the biggest disease of the, of mankind like oh, that what will people think yeah because i mean it it goes it goes a long way because uh, I mean, whatever we do we think about that but what we what we forget about realizing we what we forget realizing is uh, bro everyone is busy in their lives yeah that's true 
See, no one has time to think about you. Like, just relax. Yeah, this is a point I've been thinking a lot lately. That suppose if I am there, I I do I don't you know like okay maybe I'll think a bit, but I I don't care about others like what they're doing or like I don't I don't think about them like it, 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 the, whether it, they know a topic or not. Exactly, but, because it shouldn't. That's but what I keep thinking in my mind is that. Other people, you know, they judge me based on like what, uh, which topics I know, or like how am I behaving. But that's not true. Actually. I mean, you saw the unfiltered me this uh, Boston trip, right? Like, yeah, 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 yeah. You you never saw me like that before. I don't think mm. so. You saw me like that how I was on the Boston trip. Yeah. And if I was insecure about what who I was, yeah. then tell me just one thing. Will you would you have had that much fun that we had? Yeah. No. Generally, also you wouldn't be insecure because you are the older one, right? So obviously, some people will feel insecure if there are some older people than them. You are the oldest, so you wouldn't feel insecure. You didn't so, have to mention that. Yeah. So obviously, like I'll feel insecure if someone is older than me and knows something better than me. Obviously, if they're older than me, I think we shouldn't feel. But yeah, sometimes. So you are the oldest in the group. So again, you, you didn't need to mention you that. You wouldn't have that insecurity. What the. Because so, all all the all of the people are just kids in front of you. Bro, you're making me insecure about my age right now. <laughs> no, that's not the case, bro. Like, if if you think about the age aspect, then I would say that I should have been the most insecure because I have to live up to an image mm. among my you know younger um, uh, among young people because yeah. that's something that uh, a lot of people have trouble with because they expect uh, you know not expect they're, they're more like you know you have to be. Uh, uh you know you have to act a certain way you have to behave a certain way at some certain age mm-hmm. so i i don't actually honestly i don't believe in that see uh, that's what i feel like if if you are uh, older then you have i think a more uh, you have more insecurities about how you present yourself mm-hmm. like not only like in attire in emotional strength in how, what your maturity and everything so but i i see i I feel like if I want to be mature I can be mature. Yeah. If I, if I want to handle things maturely I can handle things maturely. But at the same time I would want to you know like have more of a uh like a relaxed view when I'm when I'm among friends because mm-hmm. I know that I I won't be judged at mm-hmm. that point. So ultimately no matter what you choose or decide there will always be another person who will judge you based on you know with your decision or they wouldn't be happy with your decision so that's true basically i mean and you shouldn't mm-hmm. t- if i think you it depends again like what relationship or bond you have with that person that that you get disturbed with their thought like whether they are thinking about this whether they are thinking it's right or wrong and what if if they are thinking it's wrong it depends again like the bond or relationship which you have with them i mean see uh, with with the person who is not here hmm. uh uh our uh, beloved the etzio mm-hmm. i'm just going to use his uh, gamer tag mm-hmm. as of now because i don't know if he's comfortable with me saying his name mm-hmm. i mean uh, the thing is uh, he uh, i have i have been friends with him for now like what 8 years now mm-hmm. and uh, at this point as well like you see like how um, like i can be unhinged in front of him like and i can i can talk to him about serious conversations i can talk to him about like some stupid conversations but i still do hold him as one of my you know of a, a, a few like i don't look up to a lot of people hmm. i only have a few people that i look up to because i know uh that if i just if i have like a shit ton of road models i'll just end up nowhere hmm. so he's someone who keeps on pushing like how he uh, you know like kind of uh, comes around with the problems and everything i love that because he has a very systematic approach to his problems even though he's late on his assignments mostly mm-hmm. but i know that uh, it's not uh, it's not about assignments and marks for him mm-hmm. it's more about knowledge so uh, in in our undergrad i remember him being just him not even like studying for exams he used to just do whatever like extra he used to get certifications from different areas different uh, mm-hmm. uh, institutes and he we we didn't party we didn't go to we didn't go anywhere to be honest and uh, it was it was kind of like a sad undergrad for us like we were uh, we were just in our uh, in our rooms 
we used to like our, our daily routine was like get up go to college come back play some games do assignments sleep hmm. and eating in between when you get time so that was a daily routine and in that routine he incorporated extracurricular and avoided all the goofing around and then he ended up getting like even though his marks were not good he ended up getting the highest paying package of our college i lived with that guy hmm i saw him doing like i saw him go through the hard work so considering that aspect i do i do live up to like i do like to like kind of take his opinion on what i'm doing even though it's like far from my industry like that's what mm-hmm. insecurity is telling right mm-hmm. so in that sense like if i'm doing something stupid i do feel insecure about telling it to him mm-hmm. so it that is something that i don't i have not talked about a lot but yeah i do feel insecure about a few things but as i said like i do only feel insecure about a few things that i want to achieve what my personality is i don't give a fuck what other people think about me yeah because i i don't have to i don't have to like care about it a lot considering the aspect that uh, you know that's just who i am if you're okay with it okay we can be friends if you're not okay with me the door is right yeah, there yeah yeah that that is a point i follow because one of my friend also tells that you have to be just you know true to yourself and be the way you are if the people around you they want to stay they'll stay or else they'll just leave exactly that's, i mean that's a very nice point <clears throat> so i recently have a friend one of her uh, one of her very close friends started ghosting her mm-hmm. so she called me and she was like i want to talk to that person she the uh, the day that happened she was actually crying mm-hmm. and i would say not even like normally crying uncontrollably crying and i was like what happened so she like told me what the, the whole story was and then i go but you got, you have to tell me one thing like i, I understand like and then he gave she, uh, then she gave me like what if the person what if she, uh, the one, my friend who left what if she was my roommate uh, would you be would you wouldn't you be sad about it i was like i mean personally personally experiencing like a lot of people who have left my life already uh i would say that yeah i would be sad for a few days probably a week or so but over time i would i would come to the come to the realization that uh, it was not uh, you know it, it was kind of meant to be and he must have some reasoning to go away from me because people always have reason it's just that they don't tell you so you think that it was a stupid reason every person who has ever ghosted you will always have a reason and and a lot of people are i mean again existential crisis we can come back to this thing and mm. you know people start to have, people start to like focus a lot on those areas where what they can't control and that's what pisses me off honestly like i mean i would say that okay she left but but at at that point that was meant to happen and even even yesterday when i talked to her she was like Hey, can you can i just want to i just want to talk to her hmm. could you make it happen i was like why do you want to make it happen because even if you talk to her the bond is not going to be the same the, the big, it's it's like things changed it's not like okay oh, you you'll start talking to her again and again you'll you're back to being at the same terms hmm. so it's people change situations change and time plays a very important role on it yeah. and that is when like the whole time aspect comes in right and again i'm going to and i guess people mm-hmm. around you also change you a lot uh, yeah obviously yeah maybe uh, maybe in a positive way i guess like many people wouldn't get affected by the people like you know who are around I them i would i would i would prefer that you change in a positive way than yeah. in a negative way like th- that's where will power has to be like yeah. a very major player in so i mean that's what i said like again i'm going to i'm going to use another hindi proverb that uh, I I personally use a lot mm. it's like uh, it's it's on time it's it goes like samay samay ki baat hai aur samay bada balwan hai mm. it goes like it's all about time and time is powerful yeah time has a lot of power in it mm-hmm. it can it can heal wounds that people think that couldn't be healed yeah that's true and it can it can also create wounds that you never know would could be yeah there so considering those aspects i would say that yeah i mean not to focus a lot on mm-hmm. things but focus on your actions i mean exactly that's that's that makes sense mm-hmm. what you're saying because yeah. like mainly like now suppose if you're focusing on master students who are coming here 
they basically feel insecure about uh, the people whom they are staying with around because it's the age group is not same everyone are different there are people who are 5 years older and 5 years younger so yeah. basically they will feel insecure they they think that the other people are experienced they would you know perform better than them in any job competition or part time or anything they'll be in the front row when compared to them so but but that but that age factor or that insecurity shouldn't you know disturb them yeah for sure uh, because uh, the the thing about uh, that is i mean masters because people take their time for masters mm. like graduate school is not something because in uh, i mean the culture back in india is kind of different that uh, masters like if once you come out of your bachelors you have to go into masters and if you don't go into masters you'd be like get a job and get settled then mm-hmm. like it's either that or just getting yeah. married even now like as a job market is like it's pretty pretty competitive some people are getting job and some people are not getting a job and many people have been texting me on instagram and linkedin that are you working did you do an internship like you know did you get a job or not and many people are getting tense that they didn't get a job mm-hmm. some people they didn't even graduate like one of my friends friend she didn't even graduate but They're she's getting but, out. but yeah but she's worrying ve- a lot about the job market and the job like when will she get that but as i said again good things take time oh definitely it does like yeah. you have to be patient with the yeah you should th- this is a point for all the, like the students who are coming for masters you know you should have a lot of patience lot a lot of patience and you should have what do you say that will power i know many people have told me the same thing and now i'm going to tell you the same thing that you should have a lot of will power and i mean uh, that is see uh, one thing that i i do believe in what you said is mm. having patience yeah. patience is one of the most important thing in anyone's life yeah. because i mean uh, as i as i said earlier like time time is a very crucial factor in everything yeah time like, mm. you can't just be like oh it's a uh, uh i i just did this oh i need the results as well i mean like, it's not possible yeah so not, that's not what possible. time is directly proportional to patience i mean bro patience is uh, patience is what having faith that good things will happen in due time yeah or like that something will happen in due time so patience is time like kind of yeah yeah every everything all the words are you know kind of similar self doubt unsteadiness existential I mean, crisis insecurity all are similar but they have different situations I mean it is it's kind of uh, it's kind of give or take at that point even in your career or the things which you wanted to do suppose if you wanted to start a youtube channel or if you wanted to dance or make reels or you know stream or you know do freelancing or anything don't think that okay i'll do it later after you know after i settle in my life first and then do that you have to just start doing it yeah postponing 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 your uh, fun is not mm. a good thing it's it's yeah. not it's not going to like get you far like yeah. oh i like uh, i'm going to focus on my goal i'm mm. going to work myself and no you need to have fun yeah everything you have to balance uh, you have to you know just bringing on that fun aspect i remember uh, i had a i had a meeting with my you know professor in charge last week last mm. to last week actually i mean couple of weeks ago and uh, she, she asked me how are you doing my response was yeah i'm doing good and she just goes ahead and says but her face tells a different story and i was like uh i don't know what to say to it right now but like i i it's it's i was super tired i, I was like i was i was almost sleeping hmm. on that meeting and i was yawning the whole time i was super tired but like you have to ha- keep a face you have to keep a smile sometimes and when i told her she just she was like nah you don't seem happy you don't seem that everything is okay and after that uh, two day trip that we took to boston uh on uh, on tuesday i had a meeting again this week and she's like how are you doing i was like yeah everything's everything's good everything's fine and she said and the first thing she said oh i can see in that smile because people see that people can see it i mean even if yeah. you if you put a smile on people can see that you're faking it yeah so it's kind of it's kind of something that uh, not a lot of people understand that uh, just focusing on work is not going to get you far you need distractions you need this distra- i mean and those are healthy distractions yeah mm-hmm. that's what like postponing anything like what like do uh, do you think i'm financially stable right now am i financially stable no right hmm. please answer that question because yeah. no, 
but like i i bought a guitar yeah. way out of my budget yeah because i want it i want it I, because now if i'm feeling down or if i want to have some sort of fun i can just, just sit back and start playing my guitar and it'll it'll uh, it'll like you know like give me the dopamine rush that i need yeah, that's the main reason i make youtube videos and instagram reels to get away from the work which i do i just you know focus on those sometimes even 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 making this podcast it's like we are spending almost 2 to 3 hours making this yeah what's the point of this i mean if if just to give you guys a reference i have a meeting in 20 minutes yeah and i'm sitting here talking about random like talking about all these things and we because didn't eat anything since morning yeah we haven't had anything mm-hmm. and and it's not even because like uh, we don't like like we we hate ourselves mm-hmm. it's because it's uh, it keeps us uh, on on our toes like it yeah. we are excited about it like and it's not even like we are free being honest yeah there's I, an ipl match going cricket and and i missed the match and i start i don't care about video. your i don't care and about I'm making cricket. a video no i mean what i'm what i meant was like you mm-hmm. have your own work i have yeah. i have a meeting i have to prepare for that and and after that also i have another like i have my masters project that i have to focus on right like but those things can wait a couple of hours because i know that once i've i've done this i can be productive yeah i mean that that's that self awareness should also be there because lot, not a lot of people know when to stop having fun as well yeah that's true because the, because suppose see so i graduated and it's almost i graduated in december now jan feb march is also over and april is coming it's almost been 3 4 months i graduated and i still don't have a job but i make youtube videos parallelly i you know do reels and travel so. yeah yeah that's what you have to balance both i'm telling mm-hmm. you that you work and you also you know do this it's like okay i'll stop doing everything i I'll, i'll sit in my room and i'll feel depressed and i'll just keep on working 24 by 7 that isn't going to work because i mean in that scenario you will just uh, like you'll just keep on digging a hole that it will be difficult for you to come out of yeah because that was that was me like a year back that was exactly me one year back like just working not going out i mean mm-hmm. for the love of god i didn't even want to go shopping for myself like mm-hmm. i had i had my i had weddings for I'm like my cousins were getting married and i was like i just kept on reusing the clothes that i had because i mean my mom was like why, why are you like, you just wore it in the last wedding why you why why mm-hmm. you just why are you going to reuse this i'm like what's the point that's the, that was my reaction that was my mm-hmm. first word like my first line what is the point there's no point mm-hmm. what like i i don't feel like going in the first place like that is when you start distancing yourself and then you know you only like uh, kind of make it harder on yourself hmm. because because recently on instagram i asked people to give me some idea to make a video they were like depression what was, is depression i was like no i was basically okay many people they they will have a point in their life where they feel they are you know kind of like what is the point of coming to masters what is the point of studying you know leaving parents and relatives back there and leaving friends and coming here to this far, to another country and studying what is the point what am i doing there is no use for this i'm not even getting a job nothing there's no use yeah so the experience which you had from the past one and a half month and the things which you learned because masters basically i i i didn't think it was just you know to just study and come you know do a job here and earn money that's that's okay that plays a primary point but but there are other things also which we have learned in masters i i don't know many people will learn a lot of things in masters because they're far from their you know parents and they'll have different dif- they'll be meeting different kinds of people in their whole journey there'll be people who help you a lot there'll be people who will try to get you down there'll be people who use you only for some point in their life when they need so you'll have lot of people you will experience them so i don't say that only if you come to masters you'll experience but for sure you'll experience all kinds of but people. like this is like a one place like uh, under all under one roof kind of thing yeah you I mean, like, you'll you have specifically a, have personal experience with people who will use you yeah many many people would have and even yeah i had mm-hmm. i had some experience i mean it's yeah. it's it's not like in a in a making fun way but like you yeah. you got experience like yeah, yeah. indians are kind of smart to get their work done any smart, means possible actually yeah they are smart and they are very nice to some people so because of the reason they are very nice to them and you know they're like okay like whatever they tell 
they're like fine okay like basically what happens is their priorities go down and other people mm. priorities come you know no but that, that's that's a very select category that's what i'm trying to say like the mm. nice ones are a very select category yeah most of them are like okay they want they want something from you they'll act like you are their god mm -hmm. and then when the work is done then who are you i don't yeah. know you kind of person like yeah. they'll be like they'll just shrug off like oh, i don't know this person at all like yeah. so i mean that that mean behavior that uh, that behavior of uh, you know that aspect of them just having you know uh, no kind of uh, you know emotions towards other people because they they were here only for one specific person and nothing else kind of like is yeah. is what and that is something that i don't like at all because mm. like i would i would rather have a wholesome bond with someone or not have any at all to also start learning to say no to people that's very important that's very important you yeah. should know what your boundaries are <clears throat> yeah people i i didn't know this in my first semester but in second sem not till my first year also but later on in my third semester i got to know about that that's that's one one of the very important things that people have to also like get to know and yeah. understand that you have to know your boundaries you mm -hmm. can't just uh, just keep on doing things for people and mm -hmm. be like oh okay this was this this was that i mean he, bro you got to realize when you have to, like i have seen people who compromise work for people and i'm like bro that thing is paying you i understand your emotions i understand everything that you're going through but at the same time you have to draw some boundaries with that person or with that thing Mm -hmm. I mean I, it, it's not have to, it doesn't even have to be like some sort of a person to set boundaries like even things yeah. because just taking an example alcohol like mm -hmm. you need to when to you need to know when to stop mm -hmm. like at certain point you know that you are it, mm. it, it it's turning into an addiction yeah. so i do have a friend uh, i know he didn't even used to drink like if he sees a drop of alcohol he'll run the other direction okay he came to the states and now his definition of fun is whenever everyone is together he be like let's go drink let's mm. go drinking or like bro let uh, i'll just go and get some beer from from the store and i'll be back i was like mm. bro i'm here to hang out with you not the drunk you because he couldn't do those things so i realized that it was not him keeping his standards up but more like the family was stopping him from getting into all of this so that's what like the fun aspect and the mm. you know boundaries aspect has to be there like right yeah that's what everyone like majority of the people think right like because in india back in india there are like parents or relatives and some people they're stopping them and after coming to states they're like free bird they can you know do whatever they want maybe yeah and and that's that's one more thing that uh, like a lot of people misconception maybe yeah it's it's a very huge misconception on that yeah. part and and an also an example for saying uh, you have to learn to say no is in my first semester i was working uh, in a, like in my part time so basically i told you that i was working in a starbucks cafe kind of thing so it was just uh, you know uh, restocking things making brewing coffee and refilling mm -hmm. mac and cheese this kind of things it was clear it and only like we have to be doing this and you'll uh, also need to lift heavy weights so that was a description of my job mm -hmm. but later on after a few weeks uh, there was like someone poured coffee in the dustbin so the dustbin it was like completely dirty there wasn't cover in that so like my not manager like my upper other like the people who are above me they asked me to clean the dustbin in my first semester in, during my part time mm -hmm. i was like you know again the existential crisis and that insecurity that comes back like like what is the point of leaving our country coming here to what clean dustbin okay maybe i didn't say no that time like one of my other yeah. friend she was like no i won't clean the dustbin why will i clean a dustbin it's not written in job description or anywhere my job is to only brew coffee make you know mac and cheese or restock lays or the chips that's it mm -hmm. why would i clean a dustbin but me i didn't say no and i just clean that dustbin i know it doesn't make that huge difference like if you say no you didn't uh, clean a dustbin okay but i don't know later on when i was thinking about that i felt like okay i should have said no that time i mean Uh, exactly mm -hmm. so th that is where uh, like a lot of people have existential crisis is because mm -hmm. so i mean india we have like a high standard of jobs once mm -hmm. you are educated mm -hmm. like that judgment is there that all these mm -hmm. menial jobs are not worth doing and that's what one thing i hate be mm -hmm. because like all bro 
you do any job it brings food on your table that's what yeah. matters at the end of the day and it doesn't matter if you're like if you're in the IT sector or if you're a janitor you are doing your best to bring food on the table mm. and uh, that's what I, I I mean I would say that coming to this country I felt that you know our misconception of having an IT job is so stupid is so stupid that I, I it's 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 unbelievable hmm. because I let me just give you some statistics so I'm from a state called Uttar Pradesh right so the minimum wage for that state is uh, 600 rup uh, 600 rupees for uh, for what uh, for uh, skilled labor per day per day that's minimum wage hmm. uh, that is how much uh, for a month if you calculate 30 days it's 18,000 rupees hmm. right how much is a new, new how much is a like a decent enough college uh, you know graduate is getting nowadays hmm. like a bachelor's student 25000 and how much do you spend money how much money do you spend and the point is you don't even know that you'll get a job or not you ha you have the insecurity of not getting a job mm -hmm. the guy who's at the road like making houses cleaning uh, like doing all these things he doesn't have that insecurity he knows that he'll get work Someone or the other is going to, you know, be, will need him to make, like, to either construct a house to, or to renovate a house. Mm -hmm. That job is always going to be there. I mean, yeah, obviously it's a seasonal work, but yeah. at the same time, it's equivalently, it's, it's, it pays equal, equally. Yeah. And then you are the more expendable person. And each, by, by passing each and every day, you are like you have more uh, you have more insecurities because more graduates are coming more people are graduating and more risk to your job because mm -hmm. i mean honestly it makes sense as a company as well it's like if i am if i am doing a plus b is equal to c and i'm asking for like a 30k salary and uh, i just go back and and then just some newly graduate student comes and is like bro i can do a plus b for 20k mm -hmm. i mean mm -hmm. as a company as a business standpoint i completely agree with them f like laying off the older employees and hiring yeah. new ones yeah so you either have to keep on upscaling yourself but then the growth is very slow so education in that aspect yeah i mean not everyone gets like you know crores and crores of mm -hmm. salaries so and then and then the same thing and the same thing happens when they come here as well so they come to the states expecting oh my god now i'm going to get astronomical astronomically high uh, you know amount of money mm. and that is where i think a lot of people are wrong yeah because they have this uh, they have this feeling of uh, uh, what do you call uh, that oh my god I studied in a in a highly reputed college I studied over here and yeah. I should be getting a lot. Yeah. So I mean, bro, what is what are you doing out of the mundane? Companies don't want to see that oh you did a you got a degree from X Y Z college mm -hmm. because everyone is doing that. Everyone is going to good colleges. Everyone is getting a degree. Like mm -hmm. that's what that's when I will plug in my roommate. So like mm -hmm. he was we were not in a very highly prestigious institute and. Not a lot of people understand that aspect that it doesn't matter in which institute you are. It matters on what skills you are able to procure in that period. Yeah. Everyone is getting the curriculum. Everyone, if I'm learning like A, B, C, like if I'm learning certain A subject, A subject, B subject, C, everyone is learning those three subjects. What are you doing outside of that that will yeah. help you get hired? Yeah, that's important because because people who studied in IIT or VIT or any other college, they are, they are studying, they are doing the curriculum. same master's. It's the right? same curriculum. Yeah. But like IITs, see IITs is a different aspect because yeah. it's a different uh, whole, uh, mm -hmm. you know, it's a whole different uh, approach to a university. So like it's, I mean, prestigious universities, obviously there's going to be some sort of, uh, mm -hmm. you know, benefit. Because like, and again, it's not about the curriculum that is the beneficial part. It's about the research that they're doing. It's about the opportunities that college creates is what yeah. keeps in. Like, okay, you did, you like, you go to like uh, SVIT, SRM, or like all these other colleges. They will have the same curriculum, but they will not have a lot of research in the areas that IITs will end mm -hmm. up having research. So, in, in considering that area of like, uh, you know, conversation, I would say that, yeah, I mean, colleges over here are better, but you know, it, it completely goes beyond my comprehension that people are like, oh my God, there are no jobs. Oh my God, there is this, there is that. I think there are enough jobs for each and every person, but you are just not qualified to get one. Yeah, and like many people tell about the college, right? So recently there was another podcast which I was watching. So he was an IITian 
and uh, like what what he told that was like suppose if an IITian and a normal college people both are graduating at the same time, mm -hmm. the person graduating from IIT gets a head start that he's like in the front mm -hmm. because he has that IIT tags, mm -hmm. IIT tag or any other good college if you consider he'll ha be having that tag that he's into a better college so we'll hire him first. But later on, if you check in the long run, like after he gets hired and if he does if he doesn't work, and there's another person who graduated from a normal co college and he keeps on working constantly, in the long run, this guy will be yeah his boss obviously kind of, obviously exactly. he'll be the boss I mean, of this. Uh, I, guy. And so even uh, recently, we watched a movie called Twelfth Fail, right? Yeah, oh my God, that movie! Oh, wow. Yeah. So in that movie, there's I a, loved it. So obviously, there's a person in the beginning who tells him that you have to stop cheating. And later on in the long run, you have seen he. This guy is above the other guy. I mean, uh, at the same time, not only not cheating. If you remember, the whole movie was like the guy who brings him to Delhi for the mm -hmm. the for, mm -hmm. for 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 the for, yeah. for giving the exam and all. He's from a uh, he's from a wealthy family. Yeah. So considering the societal aspect, he already had a head start, right? But, yeah. But what about that head start? Mm -hmm. He wasted it. Yeah, that's true. So capabilities will always like if if you're capable enough, that will always supersede any sort of other bias that people have. Mm -hmm. So, I mean, as I said, like my roommate is like the perfect example for this conversation. Mm. People got nine; their GPS were nine point eight, and they did not get the jobs that he got. Yeah. Like he was in Zscaler to begin with, and then like that package, and then he doubled his package in Amazon. So even there, there was one of my friend too. He and was he was not from mm -hmm. uh, he he was not from IIT, but he landed the same job and the same salary package which the, those people got. Yeah, I mean so, that's what I'm saying. Like the, the, he was the highest paid person in our college. And fun fact, when he came back to our college, he went uh, our college went. Oh, so you have to uh, you have to claim that uh, you know job offer from our college so that mm -hmm. we can ag advertise it. Mm -hmm. You know what his response was? Fuck off. It's my hard work, not yours. Mm -hmm. it, it's all because of me, not yours. Mm -hmm. You didn't get the companies that I got into. The companies that he got into didn't even come. The company that he got into initially, mm -hmm. and he didn't even go for the job. He went for he went for an internship, and they hired him. Yeah. So you you know how capable a person have to be that they get hired just through an internship. So considering all those things, I would say, bro, like focus on focus on things that actually matter, and that is not your curriculum, your mm -hmm. extracurriculum. Curricular things also like and extracurricular not only means playing games and all that stuff going on. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Extracurricular means like do some research, learn some things out of the blue. Mm -hmm. yeah. You know, so uh, like so out of the you know norm kind of thing. Yeah, like, yeah. Don't don't just do what everyone is doing yeah. because then then at the same time you'll be you'll be just a part of the crowd. Do you want to be? Do you want to just like dance in the crowd or be the one on the stage kind of yeah. situation? Right, like. So that that's that's something that I would like to be I would like to put across because like a lot of people just do the university and I see a lot of people wasting their times mm -hmm. time over here just like you know doing yeah. the mundane. Yeah. So this point, uh, I think everyone uh, everyone would know. I, 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 I think we should start wrapping up because my meeting starts in ten. Yeah, that's it. this is the last point actually. Mm -hmm. So I think everyone would know Easy Snippet, right? There oh was, yeah. He, so there was a that. reel. There was a reel of him which I watched uh, recently. He was like many people who go to like masters or somewhere. They post, you know, they start they start taking uh, good cars and B BMW or Audi, and they they put snaps like because yeah, uh, because, because of can. the because of the part time money which they earn here, it's it's it's, it's higher. Easier. It's yeah. higher. So they rent good oh, cars. Yeah. They travel more. Oh yeah. Let's let's just let you know about the minimum wage aspect. Six hundred rupees is like what? Uh, five is Six. four. Uh, s wait a minute. Uh, seven. Yeah, seven, no, and seven, half. seven and a half. Or, I mean, let's just round it off to ten dollars. Okay. Like uh, it's ten dollars per day that they're getting getting as minimum wage in India, mm -hmm. and uh, the minimum wage over here that uh, I, I mean I am getting right now. Per is hour. Not I am getting like the minimum wage of New York is what fourteen point five. Fourteen point two five. Yeah. Yeah, fourteen point two five. I mean, I'm getting, yeah. I'm obviously getting more than the minimum wage because my mm. job title is a more uh, extensive one. Mm. But yeah, I mean, I understand. I I understand like the the concept of. I see people do that, like because it's affordable. Yeah, that's what the snap thing. So they they post like Audi, BMW, like they take good cars, they travel and all. But but he asked them, 
are you the owner of that car then why why are you like he asks why are you posting okay it, it depends on the person's interest is posting but the point which is making is correct that you are not the owner of it and and the best part is the best part is you guys they are all high, like like you know renting out these expensive cars that very well know that they have like an enormous loan that they have mm-hmm. to pay off later yeah. on yeah 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 Uh, it's it's kind of crazy on how they ca- they do that even like if you remember i was also planning on like leasing a car yeah. but then i realized it's too expensive even though i can mm-hmm. afford it but like my my first instinct was not to do that because like it's going to be i mean it's it it will it, it would be stupid of me to just do that because i mean it doesn't mm-hmm. make any sense to do it yeah so yeah i mean it's it's crazy in areas that people are like mm-hmm. just the uh, show off aspect the show off Uh, you know phase of life is kind of very uh it's very you know risky for people because they think that that is what matters because yeah. i mean they came to they came to the states everyone has a car they don't have a car so they feel inferior and then they rent out cars because mm-hmm. and some some of them are rich that can rent yeah. out cars so like mm-hmm. it's a different thing considering that aspect i would like yeah i would go ahead and say that um, i mean that inferiority that insecurity that you are in states mm-hmm. that you don't have all these things which you had in india mm-hmm. is kind of what kills these people because mm-hmm. then they are focusing more on things that don't matter yeah yeah right mm-hmm. i mean you i mean i i'm i'm not saying that i am like one of the person that you should look up to or like mm-hmm. i did something things very well but you saw how i was right last semester like i didn't have a part time i which i could have had i could have just gone into cds campus dining and like or like something or something uh, something mm-hmm. of such sorts that i could have gotten one thing but i was like i i i came this far i know i can struggle for a semester and work for something better mm. so doing that i i did get what i wanted in this semester but at the same time yeah last semester was sad mm-hmm. i i didn't have money to spend i didn't have mm-hmm. i couldn't go to multiple trips i i mm-hmm. owe a lot of friends a lot of money yeah. so yeah it it was kind of sad but at the same time it's uh, I mean uh, this semester I'm thinking of buying buying a car not renting a car because mm-hmm. buying a car makes more sense to me because you can get a cheap one with low maintenance and you can sustain it but mm-hmm. paying 500 600 dollars each month just to have like a good looking and it's not even a good looking it's a decent looking car yeah so it's uh, it's kind of like it doesn't make sense to me so yeah and I suggest people like who come to masters to do part time because it's not it's not because of the money factor but you'll meet a lot of new people and networking yeah networking that's networking is very part-time important part time like you meet a lot of new people it's so it's, that's that even if you have money with you just do part time you know you'll it, it'll be fun yeah that is that is definitely uh, recommended yeah. and if you want to like go into research then mm-hmm. i would say that uh, i mean i would say like uh, approach a professor yeah talk to him about his research work for him for like if if possible just volunteer for his work alongside part time yeah. i mean yeah it's going to take a toll on your uh, you know on your uh, career like your day to day life because yeah. you're going to be super busy yeah but i would say that it's going to be worth it in the long run like i didn't have a part time last semester because i was working voluntarily with a professor and uh, i got hired Yeah. This semester? Yeah. So so basically this is the point where you shouldn't feel insecure or self doubt about yourself that what like what if he rejects me or what if I go and approach a professor what if he t- what if he tells no. So the, you have to just accept rejection and basically you have to just you know put yourself in front. So yeah, I mean that's uh, that's yeah. something that's something that uh, I would recommend that uh, yeah, yeah insecurities are uh, there and they'll always be yeah. there. You you have been insecure like whole like you will be insecure your whole life They're but not going to be there but just just be comfortable with them and start uh, yeah. don't focus on them a lot because they yeah. are just a part of life that you mm-hmm. can't evade and you can't like help a lot with that and yeah. it's just better this way that you just get comfortable with being insecure yeah because i i would say that uh, my insecurities helped me to uh, to secure what i like the position that i have right now yeah I mean I don't want to boast that's why I'm not mentioning my post mm-hmm. so uh that's why like I, my, that was was that was my insecurity because uh I if it was just about money and roaming around then yeah anything would be possible but yeah. I know in my field I mean in your field it's not that necessary but in my field I have to go like do research I mm-hmm. have to be in that area so yeah I did want to end up there so like yeah I mean it it was it was a good uh, it was a good uh, insecure uh, semester but <laughs> yeah it paid off Yeah so so that's it for this uh, video guys and if you have any 
recommendations recommendations and suggestions you could comment down this video comment down on this video or even ping me on instagram or linkedin i know this is a kind of new video on my channel but uh, it's going I to be know. it's going to be full of uh, <laughs> slurs and uh, it's yeah. going to be it's going to be kind of unfiltered some people i think after listening to this podcast they would be hurt also and some would be yeah some would feel happy but it's it's going to be a conflicting uh, yeah. you know point of view from everyone and yeah. uh, and but, but we are we open didn't... to criticism yeah, we, we... we are open to criticism yeah. like see we don't say that we know everything we don't we are not yeah. mentioning that we are the the people that you should be listening to yeah i mean if you feel inspired enough to do something good that is good enough for us yeah. but uh, yeah i mean it's always criticism is always welcomed please uh, yep. let us know a uh, disclaimer is that uh, we didn't purposefully you know focus on those people like who are you know showing off and all yeah, we, I mean, we didn't yeah, it's, it's, it's just it's, a general it's, it's topic it's a generalization yeah, it's a it. generalization it's not yeah. it's not that uh, they are wrong as i mm, said yeah. some people are rich yeah. they can afford it even people who aren't rich they can show I mean, off if, the thing is if they can manage their finances who are we to judge yeah that's that's the whole point and if even if you're doing all of that stuff i mean we see a lot of inter- other international student from other countries like yeah. uh, like renting out lexus B- bmw m5 yeah, m8 yeah. like if you remember if you see like there's one guy who lives next to us in our condo he has a porsche cayenne yeah yeah so like i mean if you have if you, if you can afford it go ahead why not like yeah. live a little i did i was not able to afford my guitar i did yeah so because who, of me who, who am i to say? Uh, yeah exactly <laughs> because of him who am i to like give mm-hmm. advice on that so yeah so that's it for this video guys see you in the next one thank you bye bye